Hi, this is Jonathan Glass from the Healing Essence Center. And this week I'd like to talk about some really interesting testing services that we do here. There's a lot of different ways that uh, modern science has developed to really look deeper into the body. And a lot of uh, traditional uh, doctors in medicine don't use a lot of these services, unfortunately. Uh, some are beginning to. But some of the things that we do here are, number one that I do every day in my practice is something called muscle response testing. And I'm not going to go into great detail here, here about what that is, but what we do is we actually you tap into the body's innate intelligence and that gives me a ton of information um, such as what kind of foods you may be sensitive to, uh, what kind of immune stressors that may be there including parasites, bacteria, molds, fungus, things like that that are stressing the immune system whether acutely or sometimes chronically maybe for many many years. Um, we can look into chemical sensitivities, chemical toxicity, chemical allergies. In addition to that, we can check into heavy metal toxicity. Heavy metal toxicity is a big, big issue these days. It's everywhere. It's in our water. It's in our soil. It's in the air. We can't get around it. And the problem with heavy metals is that they basically sit right on top of the receptor sites on our cells and they interfere with cellular function. And over time, that can create a, a heck of a lot of damage, including in the brain. And some of these metals have been uh, associated with Alzheimer's and dementia, uh, things like that. So another thing that we can test for is the effect of surgical scars. Surgical scars actually interfere with the bioelectric energy of the body or the chi or the prana. And by identifying those scars and how they're affecting us, there's ways to clear the blocks of those scars. And that can be a real big issue. And we can also test for emotional issues. I do a lot with flower essences, very unique and sort of a new version of flower essences called Floralive, which are very, very powerful for uprooting some deep psychological imbalances, uh, emotional imbalances that perhaps have started from when we were very, very young. So these are wonderful. Muscle testing is fantastic for that kind of thing. Another uh, testing uh, protocol that we use, I use a lot in my practice, is trace element uh, mineral hair analysis. And hair analysis has been used for many, many years, and it used to be mostly just used to assess for uh, heavy metals. But now, the, the, the science and the, the research that's been done on it proves that the hair analysis reflects the tissue content of those minerals in the body. And most people don't really know that the, the metals or the minerals in the body actually reflect how our body creates energy. So there's many different ways of creating energy, but from a hair analysis, you can assess the state of your thyroid. You can assess the state of your adrenal glands. And these tests are relatively inexpensive compared to most tests out there, blood tests, urine tests, things like that. It's, it's around $85 for a test. And we get back about a 14-page booklet that gives a, a ton of information and very, very useful. It also identifies what specific nutrients your body needs and wants. Uh, so it takes away all the randomness of supplements. Uh, hair analysis is something that I found extremely effective and has helped many, many of my patients. Another test that we have at Healing Essence is the salivary hormone and adrenal testing. This, this test costs about $200 and it's an extremely accurate test that gives information about all your hormones, including estrogen, testosterone for both men and women, progesterone, uh, your DHEA, all these hormones that are super, super important will actually give you a picture of what's going on in your body. And by doing that, we know how to feed the body properly. We know where you're at in terms of your hormonal condition. It also has a cortisol test. And cortisol reflects the adrenals. The adrenals are what helps create energy in the body and helps your body manage stress. So by knowing that, we know exactly what kind of nutritional or herbal protocol would be very most supportive for you and feeling better. The other uh, thing that we would love to do is urine analysis uh, brain chemistry testing. This is a test that's done by just a sample of the urine and what happens is that that will reflect your GABA levels. GABA helps your mind calm down. Your serotonin levels, which is a uh, a calm mood elevator. The serotonin is kind of your groovy neurotransmitter. 
your dopamine levels, which help with focus and an uplifted mood, your glutamate, other, a few other uh, neurotransmitters that are in the brain and throughout the whole body. So these, these tests really are wonderful for people that are struggling emotionally, psychologically, uh, low mood, anything like that is really helpful because there are definitely, definitely, definitely nutrients and herbs that can support those specific neurotransmitters. Um, this is for people who would prefer not to go on a prescription medication. And I know many, many people who have benefited from using nutrition, specific nutrition protocols uh, that have been able to avoid going on pharmaceutical drugs and medication, which is a wonderful thing. The last thing I'd like to mention is our DNA testing. The DNA testing is the most expensive test that we use. It's about $5.99, which includes a consultation. But this is a one-time test. It's a once-in-a-lifetime test. It gives a ton of information about your, your genomes, basically your genes. So what does it mean to test your genes? Why do we want to test your genes? One thing is that it can actually tell you what kind of diet you could eat what kind of tendency that person might have toward diabetes, toward cancer, toward heart disease. Now, it, it's not that those diseases are written in your genes. It's just that if you're of a body type that is literally meant to eat a low-fat diet and you're eating a paleolithic, high-fat, high animal protein diet because somebody said that that's what's meant to be eaten for everybody, that particular diet will probably give you heart disease. Now, another person who's on a low-fat vegan diet, that person might really benefit from a high-fat vegetarian diet, okay? Now, if a person on a low-fat vegan diet is doing a lot of exercise and that kind of thing, if that person is meant to be eating a higher-fat diet, that person could have serious cardiovascular and arterial issues. So it gives a, a great deal of information. I'm just scratching the surface with that. It gives so much information. It also gives us information that, that tells us what specific, goal, specific detoxification pathways in the liver might be genetically compromised so that those are the types of things that as we get older and older, those are the type of things that cause certain diseases, diabetes, cancer, that type of thing, if we don't do what we need to do to protect the body and help those detox pathways to, uh, to really function ideally. So that's just a real quick summary of some of the testing. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me, give me a call, email me, our, our website. Uh, you can check us out there too. I'd love to share this information with everybody. So have a great week. Thank you.